Okay, so boom. Hey, cuz, I'm telling you, don't be playing with old man hands money. Now, I wasn't affiliated no more in this story right here. I had kind of took on the role of unk. I'm the one you come and holla at for, for voice of reasoning, for advice, figure out certain things in the penitentiary, you know what I'm saying? And really, that's that's really like the sweet spot in prison, you know what I'm saying? You ain't, It ain't about you don't earn your stripes, you really just lay back, you, you respect it, you know what I'm saying? You got a good name, and you know what I'm saying? And if your name, and if, your, and if you stamp something or somebody, you know what I'm saying? Your word good. You really just in a sweet spot in the penitentiary. The only thing you got to do is just go on and do your time. Stay out of the way, you know what I'm saying? Keep being respectful. Come on, come out every now and then. Of course, I'm going to get to play ball. You found me talking crazy. Somebody going to take up for me. I'm playing cards. You get to talking crazy. It's going to be, hey, man, man, Joe T ain't even on all it or whoever it is, you know what I'm saying? You really just in a sweet spot in prison. You done earn your respect. Everybody know you stand up guy. You don't play reindeer and cocaine and penitentiary game. You know what I'm saying? You really just cool at that point. It ain't got nothing to do with how I many fights you don't want, if you done stabbed somebody or not, if you done jumped on the police. If, it ain't got nothing to do with none of that. They you just a respected guy. So, <laughs> it was a dude named Old Man Hands. I was actually at two pennies injury with this dude. And uh, I remember the first conversation I had with Old Man Hands, you know what I'm saying? I, I was working out. He, would, he used to take his pillow and wrap it around like it's, it's a big pole you know what i'm saying it basically it holds the upstairs up you know what i'm saying so you got a pole right here then when you go around it's another pole he used to wrap his pillow around the pole you know what i'm saying because he, he used the box he, ta, 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 pop, 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 pop. a lot of people used to go over with him and he kind of would almost like do a like a class over there, you know what I'm saying? He teaching them how, you know, jab, boom, boom, boom. You know what I'm saying? The left, right, he boom, boom, boom. They, they doing combo, you know what I'm saying? So I'm working out one day. I'm on the pull-up bar. When I come down, I'm, well, I'm on the rail. When I come down, you know what I'm saying? He would add a pop, 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 pop. He was like, come here. He was like, man, come here, Joe T. Let me show you something real quick. I'm like, what's up? He was like, just stand. I said, what's up? What's up? <laughs> I said, what's up, old man? He said, man, just stand right there. I said, I said, what are we doing? He said, just stand right there. So when I do my stand, he would like, see, see what I'm saying? He would like, see it, it's open right there. He would like, by the time I push it right here, boom, hits it right there. I said, hey, hey, old man, hey, don't do that no more. Don't do that. He was like, what? He was like, I'm just saying, he was like, how you stand? You know what I'm saying? So I, <laughs> nah, matter of fact, so when he stand, he would tell him, however he had it, like he had a hand, like in front, of, I can't remember exactly how he done it, but how he was doing it, he was like, now try that. And when I try to push his hand, he, boom, hit me. I said, hey, hey, old man. I'm not gonna sit right here and do this with you. You sitting over and making it look like I can't fight. Dude, we fight in the streets. Like, what, what you doing is, it's, it's like basketball. It's the difference between somebody who play under the whistle and somebody who play in the street. Now, 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 we was in the streets and you talking about, what's your stance? And I seen you like, pow, pow. Hey, we, we ain't finna do no fight. Cause it's not finna be fair. That, that ain't what we finna do, old man. <laughs> we ain't like, we get to walking, we get to walking, you know what I'm saying? He just get to reminiscing, telling me old penitentiary stories when he was here, when this happened and that happened, you know what I'm saying? And I'm, and I'm like, how much time you got? Oh, he like, man, you know, I got a 25, you know what I'm saying? I got that quarter. He was like, but that's cool. I almost done walked it down, and this, this, and that. And I was like, what you, you know, man, because you don't, you know, you don't ask a lot of people what they locked up for, how they got the time, because a lot of people, you know, they, they might got them charges and they might be lying. But oh, he didn't strike me as that type, you know what I'm saying? So I'm mad that. I said, man, what you locked up for? He was like, man. <laughs> he get the little, little, look. He get, man, you know, I was at a bar one night. Don't tell me I was at a bar. You know what I'm saying? Um, drank. He was like, I ain't like how kind of lit. He was like, man, and somebody I know, you know what I'm saying? I wasn't even there with the person. Somebody I know, he got the argument with a uh, white dude. You know what I'm saying? He had two, three white friends with him. You know what I'm saying? He was like, you know, it was back in the day, back in the day. You know what I'm saying? They was in there, they were drinking, and they got the argument going back and forth. I don't even know what it was about. But I know one of the white dudes started using the N-word. You know what I'm saying? And he was like, you know, my homeboy, you know, he get to walking back over. And he was like, they didn't stop. Like, they kept going. They kept going. And he was like, the bar's kind of mixed up crowd. But, you know, everybody could tell the tension was in the room. Because the dude who, who said the N-word, you know, his friends got in front of him. You know, my home, you know, the people that I knew, you know what I'm saying, they started walking back over towards me. He was like, the white guy was like super. He was like, he started being belligerent. Like, he was just getting, like, he was picking on them or something. You know what I'm saying? And he was like, man, I sit right there, and I kept having my drink, Joe T. He was like, so they leave out of the bar. And they leave out of the bar, I left out of the bar. He was like, so I walked up to the friends, and I was like, hey. I was like, man, y'all let your friends talk to people like that? 
And he turned around, he was like, what you mean, boy? And he turned around and called me a boy. And his friend was like, man, we just finna take him home, man. He gets like it when he is drinking. I told him, Joe T, all right, well, y'all need to quit going places with him because y'all going to go somewhere and it's going to be the wrong people. And then it's going to be something y'all. He was like, what, what you mean it's going to be the wrong people? So by this time, he came through the crowd. So when he come through the crowd, he pushed me. Joe T, when he put him out, I said, man, don't do that again, man. He said, I put that hand up. He said, I told him, don't do that again. And when I put that hand up, his friend he, uh, kind of grabbed my shoulder right here. He was like, when the friend grabbed my shoulder, I, Pow! I hit him. I hit him, Joe T. And when I hit him, the other friend was like, hey, he grabbed my, hit him twice. And the other friend, he was just like, man, hey. And then the dude was like, man, that was my friend. He ran up on me. And I, Pow! 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 man, I knocked him out and knocked him down on the ground. And he got on the ground, he was getting up, and I get down, pow, I need him, I need him. And I get down on him, and I, pow, pow, pow. He's like, man, Joe T, I ain't gonna, like, I just blacked out, I blacked out, man. Before I know it, man, I looked up at him, leaking, head was swole, his friend was trying to grab me. Next thing you know, I'm hearing the police. Man, he went to the emergency room, man, and he, and he ended up passing away, man. They gave me 25 years, man. I basically beat the man to death. <sighs> Do what? And we sitting over here, you talking about staying like it. Man, don't you put your hands on me now and then another time. Oh, man. Yeah, I'm just telling you, Joe T. Like, put your hands put your Man, I'm not. Nah, don't <laughs> put your hands up. But dude was cool as hell. You know what I'm saying? He just, he liked to get high. His people, you know what I'm saying? They are still sending money every now and then. You know what I'm saying? That, oh, man. A lot of people ain't finna. People like that, they not playing with numbers. And I was cool with this little crib at the time. He Grape Street, Grape Street. A little young dude came in, you know what I'm saying? He was one of them. After a couple of months, he done seen me a couple of times. He done pulled up on him. Man, what's up? What's up going on? What's going on? Huh? Man, I'm straight. I'm chilling. I'm chilling. He's like, man, I know you don't smoke nothing. You know what I'm saying? You know what You trying to get some oil or some smell. He always trying to hustle something. But I end up getting cool with him because he used to come and vent to me, you know what I'm saying? His people, how they ain't came to see him and, and his homeboys ain't this and that and the gal broke bad on him and he always, he like, man, I, how you do that time, man? Ain't got no choice, you know what I'm saying? So one day, we walk and talk, I'm talking to him, he talking back, you know what I'm saying? We converse, we having a whole little conversation and he mad because it, it, his gal done broke bad on him. He was like, man, don't see for real, man. I was rocking with her out on the town and this, this and that, man. She got pregnant one time, you know what I'm saying? End up, we end up uh, having an abortion, you know what I'm saying? She, you know what I'm saying? And then when I got locked up, like she was going to ride him. He got a little short, little sin, a little short, little sin. And he was like, man, that ever done happened? He was like, man, how you deal with that? And I remember the first time somebody broke bad on me, listen to me. It was right after my parole, my first parole here. And I don't know if y'all done heard that story or not. I went up for that parole here. And matter of fact, it was the only person there to support me. And in the parole here, the, the parole officer was like, well, we're going to recommend that you come back in, uh, in, uh, in three years. Three, 36 months? <laughs> look, 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 look. So my first thought was, oh, it's over. It's on. I had been going to visit every other week in the Benjamin. You know what I'm saying? When I first got there for about a year. About a, yeah, a little bit over a year. I'm going to visit every other week. Consistently. I ain't had no problem. Man, this woman going to say, we're going to, we recommend that you come back in three years. You take anger management and whatever other class she told me to take. I said, oh, it's over with. That first weekend, that following weekend after the, she came to visit. After that, I ain't going to be able to make it. After that, I ain't going to be able to make it. Out of that, I ain't going to be able to make it. Next thing you know, she ain't down the phone the same way. You know what I'm saying? Dang, she ain't texting back. What's going on? <laughs> this is what they call breaking bad. It's all with. They don't really tell you. They just kind of fade on out of the picture. So I just started telling him how I dealt with it. And he was asking me, like, man, how you... We, you don't have a choice. You really have to numb yourself. You have to be cold to that type of situation because the only thing you're going to do is beat up on yourself. The only thing, man, why this and why that? You're going to have 101 questions and get what? The answers to any of them do not matter because at the end of the day, what you're going to have to do is go in that cell while they doing they count. You're going to have to sit there and listen to your silly. You really don't want to listen to your silly because you frustrated and got certain things going on. You can't tune out nothing. It's going to be loud at all times. It's going to be certain. The parts is going to be moving. You don't have a choice. So you really got to almost let you have to program yourself to shut 
them them emotions off in here because if you don't what you're gonna do is you're gonna start letting your emotions drive you and now you run around here and you start stuff and getting into stuff and it's all because of that gal and it's a lot of people out here on the streets right now because of what you got going on internal whether it be from a relationship you don't like your job family member financial issue whatever the case may be it, what you, what's going on internal is leaking out and until every until everything and everybody you attach to and you just and you just see like you come off as a very hateful, envious, ugly person because it, because you ain't dealing with what's going on in the inside. So you letting it spew out on other people. And really, that's how he was already moving in there. It looked like he just a go hard, don't care type of dude. It really just frustrated and he don't know how to control his emotion because he's young. So he just in here think you're not on the streets, my boy. This is this is a world within a world. Let me tell you something. Ain't no pop pop. None of that. You know what I'm saying? If you got that steel, you gotta have a different kind of heart. And you thinking you're gonna be able to continue to run around here. Ain't none of that. And just because you affiliated, listen to me. Don't mean nothing. But see, this is the type of game he was playing. Because he had actually, you know what I'm saying? He got him a little horn right. So when you you got an advantage when you got that hammer. Point blank period, you got an event. Especially if you got a little hustle or people need to come use the phone or check the numbers and stuff like that. Now, when people, when you got stuff for sale and people buy stuff, when they bring in them green dot numbers, when you own the phone, when you come in there, when you own the phone, first and foremost, what you you could tell somebody, oh yeah, just give me the number, I'm gonna check them real quick, I'm gonna run into the sale. A lot of people follow for a lot of people don't, but some people in the pension, they thinking, don't play with my brick. You know what time it is. But what some people would do, including him, they'll check your numbers. When they put the numbers in the phone, they gonna screenshot, they gonna screenshot it, give your numbers back. Now listen, you got by the end of the day to spend that money. If not, they going to pull them numbers because if you don't went somewhere else and somebody else done checked the number or you done held them for a certain amount of time, listen to me. If you don't went to more than one person and they had them numbers checked and you can't pinpoint where it come from, they going to pull your numbers. And that's the type of games he used to play. It's a, man, give me the numbers. I'll go to my homeboy's cell and check it real quick. He'll let me use the phone real quick. He ain't going to let you use the phone, but I'll go in there and check it for him and let you know they straight. But I want something out whenever. What you finna go buy? Some cigarettes? You finna go get some green? You finna go get whatever it is. You know what I'm saying? Just give me a little bit of smoke with me or something. Boom, boom. All right, bet. Here you go. Boom. They're going to go check the number. He already got a, he already got a name for that. He going to snatch your numbers in the next day or so if you ain't spent your money. So he come holler at me. He come holler at me one day. Pop, pop, pop. Hey, y'all. Man, come on, what's up? Go, come on in, nephew. Man, bless his head. What you got going on, huh? Man, I ain't doing it. He said, man, look. Bro, dear kind of, man, I'm finna get ready to come up, bro. I ain't that. I'm finna get ready to shake the spot around here, man, for real. I'm gonna save my bread, this, this, and that. And he was like, man, old man Haynes just pulled up on me. You know what I'm saying? I said, old man Haynes did what? He said, old, old man Haynes just came. Just pulled up on me. You know what I'm saying? Trying to spend some bread with me. I said, trying to spend some bread with you. I said, what you? I said, what you? I said, oh, what, what, old man Haynes? What he? He like, man, you know he like to smoke, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? I holiday my homeboy. He's trying to pop it on me. Only reason I'm asking him why why he brought up old man Hank, I'm trying to make sure he don't play the reindeer game with do. He like, man, you know, I'm just I'm sending to my homeboy and this, this, and that. And there's another thing he used to do. He'll come check your numbers, even if he let you hear that the numbers on there out. Oh, yeah, your numbers good or whatever, whatever. I just I'm finna hit hit my homeboy, go down there and holler at my homeboy. You know what I'm saying? He might got some brown. He go down there and holler at the homeboy, and then when he get down there, the homeboy gonna say, oh, I ain't got enough to serve you. You know what I'm saying? Unless you want this, and I'll just get you the rest of it or whatever. And they ain't gonna take it. But by that time, you don't went down there. He the homeboy gonna be like, I need to check the numbers too. Boom, oh dang, you got fifty. You know what I'm saying? Whatever. What, they gonna run some kind of game, and that two people done touch these numbers or know about these numbers. You know what I'm saying? And now, you know what I'm saying? You in limbo. You don't know who got them. And both of them gonna say, I ain't pull them. You know what I'm saying? They gonna play some kind of random guy. I said, what you, what you, uh, he was like, nah, 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 I ain't finna play them type of game with old man hands. I done heard about old man hands and did this and that. I said, oh, yeah, 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 because old man hands don't play them type of game. And <laughs> like, and then, and then if his money, you know what I'm saying, it's gonna come from his people or whatever, whatever, whatever. So we have a little short conversation. He faded out of the cell. Day or two go by. I'm standing out on the rock. I'm chilling, right? I see old man hands talking to the homeboy. He talking to the crib. And he's standing right there. He's solo dog. He by himself and get what? Ain't nobody finna try to jump this old man. 
ain't nobody finna get out of control because not only do he got them hands, he gonna hit you with that steel. He gonna go through your stomach and come up at the, he ain't finna play no games. And then when he over there talking, he gonna be talking with his hands. The little crip popped him that first time, got over on him for 50. Old man hands took it up, he took it up on himself. You know what I'm saying? Boom, boom. I don't know why old man hand went back again to Holly dude. He spent a, he, he go back with a 75. I have absolutely no idea why he done that. I don't know if it was because he, he was trying to, I don't know what it was. I don't know if he wanted to holler at somebody else first. They was like, man, boom, boom, boom. They directed, but the, the Great Street at the time, the, the big homie on Great Street had to move anyway. So a lot of people did, but he would still play them types of game. So he tried to go holler at him again. This man take old man hands money again. He go and holler at them and tell them what's going on. When he, while he telling them what's going on, they done told, they had already done told little cub the same thing. They done told him that, look, of course, being affiliated, if it don't come back to us and somebody chalk it up or you get your one-on-one, -on -one, it is what it is. When it comes to us and whatever, whatever, depends on if somebody affiliated or not. This old man hands, though. So it's a whole different ball game. So when they talk, they done told look her, old man hands ain't going for that. When you play them type of games and they come back on you and old man hands put them hands on you, it is what it is. But at the same time, just like when I was affiliated, name kept coming up and little, just little stuff, you know what I'm saying, to get on people. Now, don't tell how they doing something. <laughs> and then, so by the time all this stuff started coming to a head, they really just going to let the, hey, whatever happened, happened. You know what I'm saying? You really need to be humble. It's a lot of, they, they, you need to be, but the, the guys would say, uh, 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 what would they say? Uh, break it. We got to break him, but that was another word. That was another way of saying you need to be humble so you will understand what's really going on here in the penitentiary. And don't assume because you affiliated, you got some numbers, you can just be moving however you want to move and treat people in here any kind of way, any kind of shape, form, or fashion. Because that's what them young young dudes who come in the penitentiary. I'm telling you, this, this is what happened when the young dudes come in the penitentiary. They come in with a skew. Commercial break me real quick, please. They come in with a body. They come in, if they don't come in, they come in on a kidnapping or a robbery. It'd be the main three cases right there. They come in with the big head. And they come in with the street mentality, not understanding that that will not work in a pandemic. And then they think they come in like bullies. Because this what it's, it's vice versa uh, on the streets. Old heads get out of the penitentiary and think they can reinsert themselves back in the positions they were before they came to the penitentiary and them young dudes is not going. It's vice versa in the penitentiary. The young dudes think they gonna come in the penitentiary and insert the street ways that they done lived and come in before they came in with they with their guns and whatever, whatever, whatever. They think they gonna come in the penitentiary and do that and not understanding that the uh the gangs and organization, a lot of these people the head it's, it's got to be structured in here. Some organization going on in here. It's, it's, it's got to be some kind of understanding because when you get out of control and here, out of control in here, you can't go all the way to the other side of town and just uh, wait for a moment of, of just uh, coming across uh, somebody that you got a problem with. And that ain't how it go. Because when you cross that line in the penitentiary, listen to me, I don't care if you're at the top of the hill, bottom of the hill, or the hole. Listen to me, they want to get to you, they going to get to you. Point blank period. And it ain't no, I'm finna go out of town. Because the penitentiary, when you say going out of town, that's going to another penitentiary. But see, with them toys and them kites and the penitentiary, you don't know what that kite is. And let me know you ain't never been to the penitentiary. You ain't never been to the penitentiary. I advise you to never go to the penitentiary. Where it gonna get there before you do? So if you think, oh, you can check in or you don't got to reclad, then tell nobody, or you just so happen to get on the train and you going somewhere else, listen to me. Soon as, them, soon as everybody wake up at 3, 4 in the morning and they see they sliding their green bag under your door, you don't know what that green bag is, they let me know you ain't never been to the pension too. If you ain't never been to the pension, I advise you to never go. When they get up, when they going to hear it, pop, 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 they go, everybody going to get up and be looking. Hey, hey, city, hey, city, hey, don't little John owe you some money. Yo, what going on? Man, they just slid that green bag on the door. Hey, Lil John. Hey, Lil John. Hey, what penitentiary you going to, Lil John? Man, I don't even know, man. 
Man, my cell just woke me up, man, told me I was going to another prison, man. I don't know where I'm going. Wherever you go, I'm going. I'm going. I'm going to get on the computer. I'm going to get on the computer. If you uh, wherever you going, I'm going to let the homeboy know what you owe me for. Go and get into the homeboy when you get there. You hear me, Little Johnny? Little Johnny. I hate that complaint, city. I hate that complaint, city. I ain't finna play. Hey, Little Johnny. Little Johnny. Somebody, you hear somebody? Hey, Little Johnny. Little Johnny. Are you you going to another penitentiary, Johnny? Man, my Sally say he packing his stuff. Hey, tell you, Sally, when you get where he going, it, it, they on his head. <laughs> it, it ain't no getting away in a penitentiary. And that's how the cookie crumble. If you want to hear the rest of the story, you're going to have to go get your membership. Man, I wasn't even going to put this. I wasn't even, I just thought about it. I said, let me commercial break real quick. Because I'm going to go ahead and let them know, get a little taste of this one too. And for, if they want to hear the rest of it, guess what they're going to have to go do? Yeah, they're going to have to get them one of them little chicks. You see, y'all got that little blue, yellow junk. Yeah, the, the, the junk lit up on it. I'm talking about the junk. I'm talking about the comment section just lit up. You know what I'm saying? So, so, look, look, look. I appreciate this too. So if you want to watch this, you're going to have to go get your membership. Or go subscribe to my new page. Okay, so boom. One, my other phone ring. Probably my guy. From <laughs> little check this out, check this out, check this out. I got to start telling y'all the story about my guy. Just get back in touch with the two murder mic. But look. Oh, uh, murder mic was, uh, what, what hood was he on? I can't remember. Let me get back. To, let me get back to the story. So why they out here? He, they done already told him. Whatever. If, if, if Mr. Haynes choose to get on your head, it is what it is, homie. We ain't got nothing to do with none of that. So old man Haynes go hot. Go old man Haynes try to go holler at him. He come. Listen, <laughs> old man Haynes go to the cell. He come. He of course he come out of the cell. And of course everybody watching because everybody already done seen the tension. That were going on, you know what I'm saying? The old man hand, he probably don't walk around and told. So he's sitting up on the wall. He talking to dude. He walks off on old man hand. When he walk off on old man hand, that's what he tell him. Hey, it's the last time I'm gonna say it, man. I want my money today. I want my money back today. Everybody turn and hear old man hand say he want his money. Cuz turn around and say, Man, that's old way, cuz. Old man hand say, Alright. He come down the steps. I'm by my door, I mean, West High. I mean, not West High, I mean, Northwest. When you come down the steps in Northwest, my cell, like, it's, it's a, when you come down the steps, it's a cell right here, then it's another cell, then it's my cell. I'm almost at the corner. It's one more cell that'll take you to the corner. I'm right before the corner. So I'm standing under the stairs. So when you coming down the stairs, if you look, I'm chilling on the wall, he see me, he holler. Man, hey, man, I need to holler at you real quick, though, I'm thinking. I told him. So I said, come on, come on, I'll let me real quick in the set. Really don't want to call him here, but I'm feeling, I, I got to try to put him up on some guy. So he come in and say, he, man, bless this man. He ain't talking about nothing, Joe T. I don't know what the homeboys on. Not seen him talking to the homeboy. Homeboys ain't then he going to come and holler at me. Man, homeboy, then man, straight. I said, listen, I said, let me tell you. I said, let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. You saying your homeboys ain't straight, but listen to me. You can't expect that. Can't expect what, Joe T? Can't even... You can't expect running roguish. You automatically get going to get protected or defended by people that you affiliated in the pension. What you mean? Do what? I said, bro, just because they affiliated with you don't mean they have to respect you being roguish. I said, because the penitentiary at the end of the day, whether you're affiliated or not, it's about respect, homie. And what you done done is you done res disrespected a man who put on his pants the same way as you, one leg at a time. You done disrespected a man who done been locked up for some years and he bleed the same way you do. You're both a man. He said, man, I ain't hear nothing. Man, he gonna come to my cell, Joe T. Talking about he need to holler at me. You know what I'm saying? I ain't trying to rap with dude, man. I ain't trying to rap with dude. Then he gonna tell me I need that money back. Man, that's old with. He gonna talk to me like that in front of no. Man, that's old with, man. He can talk to I said, listen to me, man. Listen. Your name already hot around here. Listen, your name already hot, bro. I said, the best thing to do is give an old man. If I give the money back, then the homeboy, they're going to be saying that I was a sucker. I was scared, Joe T. You already know how that go. I'm finna just go on and go get me a knife, and whatever happened, going to happen. I said, nah, I don't I said, I don't even go get no knife. I said, I'll go holler at the old man, hey. Nah, I don't need you to holler at nobody for me, Joe T. I'm a man before anything. I said, well, look, check this out. Since it ain't no getting through to you, this is what I'm going to tell you. Old man, hey, he going to, he, yeah, 
He going he gonna to do, man, listen, old man hands going to want to see you, bro. I'm, I'm trying to tell you. I done, the dude, ain't, he ain't that. And ain't nobody going to take up for you. You know what I'm saying? They they going to let old man hands do it. Man, dude ain't going to do nothing to me, Josie. I said, okay. We come out of the cell. Old man hands, get what he doing? Talking to the homeboy. Get what the homeboys done told him. When whatever whatever happened, you know what I'm saying, behind that old man hand, if you saying dude and took your money and this, this, and that, then they they, done, they told him he can get a one. Old man hand said, I don't want no one. I want my $75 back. The 50, he chalked it. The 75, he went back for the second time. He saying he wanted $75 back. They, hey, you go holler him, he give you the money back, but that's them, you know what I'm saying? That's the homeboy. He did whatever he did, you know what I'm saying? We out of there. If you get it back, you get it back. If something happened, it happened, whatever, whatever, whatever. Old man hand, holler. Hey, 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 I need to holler at you. He go, he try to walk in. When he walk in the cell, get what Cub them said. Hey, Cub, man, he done tried to holler at you twice, Cub. You need to go on and holler at that man, Cub. Whatever you done did, you know what I'm saying? You need to man up and go on and handle that, Cub. He step out of the cell. Man, he ain't talking about nothing, man. I don't want to rap, Cub. It's over. They like, man, Cub, come over here, Cub. Come over here, Cub. At this point, he got to walk over. If he walk in the cell, it's really going to look like he's scared. And nine times out of ten, if he go on in the cell and close that door, old man hand and the Crips going to walk right on over there, and they going to let him in the cell. You going to have to you have to face this at this point. This is not the streets, bro. This is not the internet. This is not you talking crazy or call somebody out of their name and, boom, boom, and they can't get to you or ain't going to see you for weeks or months or maybe never again. This is not that. This is not you don't call. That is not how it works in the penitentiary. You got to handle your business when somebody tell you, you, you listen, listen, take care of the business. <laughs> take care of the business or become the business. Dude said he want his bread. He go, he go in and say, cousin, get ready to walk on. He come on back out the cell. When he come back, man, what y'all on, cuz? At this point, he walking towards them, they walking towards each other, right? He walking towards them, they walking towards him, they walking towards each other. So by this time, they meet in the middle, and they saying, man, old man, hands, man, he ain't even that type of dude. Like, that ain't even straight, you know what I'm saying? On the for you know what I'm saying? Hey, cuz, you need to go on and straighten that. And this, he like, he's still standing on that. He, man, I ain't got nothing to do with none of that, man. I ain't such a, old man, hands, fire! Oh, when, when he hit him, cousin him back up. He, he When he hit him, it didn't pop off. Old man hand hit him. Bah! When he hit him, he, oh, cuz, you got me. He ain't squabble right off the bat. So when cousin him back up, old man hand square up. Old man, I want my money back. He was like, it ain't no, and, and he talked to him at the same time. Now, I'm going to tell you something, yo. Ain't no hands laid dead paid. I'm going to put, when I get through putting my hands on you, I still want my money. I still want my money. And get what cousin him tell him. Hey, cuz. Cause if you let that man such such, cause you know what time it is, cause and at this point, man, he ain't talking about nothing, man. He ain't talking about. Nothing. He got that same stance. Old man hand told me about. It. He man, he ain't talking about nothing. He ain't talk, old man hand pushed him, pow, hit him in the real cane. He been on five. Listen, two punches. He was on. He man, he ain't talking about pop pop pop. Old man hand pop pop pop. They oh hold on, hold on, you got to get up on cause he. Man, listen. Picked the boy. He picked the boy up off the ground. He, he bad shirt. He picked the boy up, and he, cause we on they on the top wall. They fight on the top wall. So the rail right there. He leaned the boy on the rail. He says, "So, so what we gonna do, youngster? What we gonna do? What we gonna do, youngster?" He said, there, "Man, you ain't talking about nothing, man. You ain't talking about nothing. You ain't talking about nothing, old man. So you ain't gonna pay my money." He let it, pow, hit him with the elbow. Listen, spit all that right there. I look like I he disrespectful. Cousin them ain't doing nothing. Cousin them ain't doing nothing. Guess somebody's come out in the pond and say, man, you owe me some money too, man. Do it for me, hand. Do it for me, hand. When he say that, I was like, oh, man. The, the crib, they look at that. Do it for me, hand. Man, he ran off my money too, man. He been running around here playing his homeboy. And then they they speaking up with old man hands. I'm guessing they feel like they, they got a voice because they seeing that the Crips basically letting him get a one-on-one. -on -one and they, you know what I'm saying? And he done basically put the work in on Look Up. But they probably looking at it as they humbling. But when they say that, one of the homeboys was like, see, that's what I was saying, cuz. Cub been around here playing with everybody money like that, man. We ain't finna be responsible for Cub running around here doing that. When he say that, old man hands had already hit him with the elbow. With the elbow. Old man hand push him and let him go. He said, so what you want to do, man? What you want to do? Man, he swing. Old man, 
come up on him, push him. He push him to the wall. He turn right, pop, pop, hit him. He, I'm talking about listen. And just slid down the wall. Old man hand, dude. Bow, kicked him. I look at I said, they ain't finna do nothing. They ain't finna do nothing. Get what they holler. Ah, it's over with, cuz. It's over with, cuz. Cuz, you might well go and get your stuff, cuz, and go on to the back, cuz. It's over with by the end of the day. And I kid you not, the man got up off the ground, went in the cell, came back out. Man, I ain't y'all ain't talking about nothing, cuz, cuz. I ain't going nowhere, cuz, cuz. I'm staying here on the couch, cuz. It's great with me, cuz, and this is that. Man, they came right on over, went in the cell, and smashed him. Then came out, and the dude who said he owed him some money, too, Told, man, come on up here, cuz. Let him come in the cell and go on, let him get some leaf in. Pop, pop, pop. They come out of the cell, close the door. Dude, hollering on the rock. I is over. He going to the back. Hey, CO, whatever you got, go on. They can get on the door. Hey, cuz, it's over, cuz. You come back out of that cell, cuz. You know what time it is, cuz. We're going to fight you, cuz. And these young dudes think they can go and survive in the penitentiary.